Okay, it's uh, Wednesday, so another Guild War. Uh, attacking early this time, well, earlier. Uh, I think um, there's enough forts left over. Should be anyway. There's one, the main stronghold is open, or still attackable. Uh, what else? Uh-oh, the internet's going wonky. Okay, anyway. Um, has this one been stomped? Okay, so this one's out. Oh, that's right, the stronghold doesn't open until two of these are down, so I don't know what I'm looking for a different stronghold for. Uh, yeah, so I guess we'll just hit the stronghold, stronghold and, and go from there. Uh, let's go take a look at our our rank rating here real quick. 308. Uh, I think if we win this one, which... 553. Oh yeah, we lost again. That was crazy, we're getting stomped out by... Uh, a 300 level guild well yeah they're about this we're about the same level of havoc and they have like twice the amount of uh, attacks that we have so that's 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 pretty sad actually let's go take a look what's going on over here <laughs> that's insane uh, usually when we get knocked down this low it's like easy win from here on out it's also kind of reflected in the guild uh, discord too because a lot of people are uh, Losing attacks here and there. Uh, I really should be looking at the um, the, the Discord for uh, to see what's going on here, but uh, honestly, I just I can't be asked. So let's see. I'm kind of liking this team going down here at the bottom, just because uh, it's two two fires into two grasses. But uh, RB probably has enough damage to just like make that not worth going into. Um, yeah, without any mitigation, it's it's gonna be a tough fight, tough ask out of Lilius and uh, and Ravi there. Um, but yeah, maybe something, maybe Lilius, uh, something else. Let's see, maybe Lilius. Where are we going here? Oh, I'm looking for you. Lilius, you, and you. I like I like Arby up here. These are probably going to be really squishy. I mean, she's going to get invincibility, which is going to be pretty irritating. But um, what if we went with the good old... Uh, here he is. Good old you, and then... So we're going to get a hit. Hmm, uh, let's go with you. That looks kind of interesting. So Charon's going to go after uh, Alencia there. C uh, Cerise is going to S3 everybody. Uh, she's going to clap and give them the attack buff and the immunity. So hopefully Alencia needs to survive Charon. Um, and not get silenced or anything. So that she S3s. The immunity is not that important to take off, but I mean, it's helpful. Uh, but the attack buff is something you want to get rid of because we're probably just going to die to that. Uh, I kind of like this up here. We'll see how this goes. Um, my RB is still kind of lacking, but um, yeah. Uh, again, so the biggest problem is maybe just dying to him, but hopefully the, these three can survive whatever's going on here. Uh, we're not, we can't get buffed, but that's okay because she can cleanse and... Uh, She's going to get an attack buff, it's not that important, it's more like I can de-break uh, de them and then uh, sleep them, so... Yeah, I guess let's uh, let's go into this and see how this goes. Um, feeling about 50-50 here for both of them. Probably should have taken SSB into one of these. Uh, if anything, probably this top team would have been better to have her in. Okay, so they all went first, which is kind of interesting. Fortunately, it's a little better to go into uh, Cerise with, um, what's his face over there? Going into Cerise with uh, DJ Basar because uh, all she does is, is the, the, oh, she does the um, the restrict and the slowdown, which the slowdown is pretty bad, but it looks like we didn't get it this time. But on top of that, uh, she doesn't have a chance to like strip and then like stun me or something or push me back. So um, it's a little safer bringing him into this. Okay, so she's gonna go. Probably gonna miss 
I'll actually hit him. Uh, let's see if I get the uh, effective check here. Okay, I got it on everybody. So let's see if uh, Arby can blind. That's, that'll be the only thing left here. Okay, I got the blind on the person I needed to. <laughs> and she actually hit the person I didn't want her to hit. Uh, we're all immune, so it's fine. Uh, let's just trigger your passive right now. Uh, please miss, please miss, please miss. Yes! Okay, cool. Okay, so basically we won already, uh, which is pretty nice. Um, okay, cool. Yep. So let's just... Let's kill you. Okay, so she's dead. S2 into... Yep. Okay, there you go. Uh, that's how you deal with that. Um, how lucky did I get here? Um, it's always like you always want to like take a second to step back from what, what happened uh, and analyze, you know, did I bring a, a good comp into this or did I just get really lucky? So we didn't get the slow and Basar, which is a luck based thing. Um, yeah, we didn't get the slow and Basar, which is luck, but I think he still might have made it in time to cleanse everybody and just like have our turn go normally. He would have been a little slower, mind you, but um, I think he still would have just gone. Um, what else? We got the strip on Alencia, which I don't think is too bad because it, it's just immunity and attack buff, and Kron got the attack buff later anyway, and he like he still hit hard. Uh, and then we got the blind on on a Vildred here. Uh, I think it wasn't too bad. I think uh, maybe you might win this 70 30 bringing this team in there. Um, yeah, something like that. So let's see what's going on here. So let's see if she see if he misses. Uh, he didn't miss on anybody, which already that kind of sucks. Um, okay. Oh, she died. Uh, let's revive you. I think she's gonna actually take a turn though. That's just kind of interesting. Uh, she's gonna be, yeah, like right here, so that's interesting. Um, let's just hit everybody with this, why not? Uh, I'm, I'm kind of wasting the sleep, the possible sleep and defense break on Charles there, but that's alright. It's better to do this now just because if Charles was gonna counterattack, um, let's see. So I didn't get the defense break on him, which is what I was kind of looking for. Uh, let's just... So he's asleep, I don't want to wake him up. Let's hit you. Come on, sleep, 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 sleep. Oh, well, that's fine too. Okay, so he missed. <laughs> he missed on the Lilius, but... He still, uh, he still got the uh, stun from the abyssal. Um, that's just fine. Fortunately, Charles is missing here, and then, um, well, so you got the Alexia proc there. Uh, let us just so she's gonna get hit by him, which shouldn't be too bad. Um, that's actually let's see, because we're probably gonna kill this arbiter, and I really need to make sure. Um, Ruel doesn't just die. Uh, so let's just... So we got the Alexa's basket three times in a row, mind you. That's 0.4 times 0.4. That's 0.4 to the third power, but 0.4 times 0.4 uh, is what? Something. Very irritating. An irritating number. Uh, 0 0.4 times 0.4 is 0 0.16, and he got the uh, proc, so this is basically over, I think. And he got it four times in a row! That's 0.4 to the fourth power! That is a fraction that is so small, I don't even want to calculate that. That's 0.16 times 0.16, right? Yeah, 0.16 times 0.16. What is that? Uh, let me, I'm gonna go bust out the calculator, I'm gonna pause this. And... Okay. So for those of you out there who want the numbers, that is 26 times out of every 1,000.
or three times, you know, I'm being uh, rounding up, three times out of every 100 um, situations. So out of every time, every time, every 100 times he goes four times in a row, three of them should be, should give him the, uh, the Alexis proc that many times. Um, and I just happen to be the one in one in the one of the three, which you know whatever that's fine. Uh, the the bigger problem is now I'm missing Ruel, who is a pretty big deal. Uh, and I didn't even do anything; I just lost there. Uh, let's see. So in this team up here, I'm just gonna go with uh, SSB. She counters uh, what's his name pretty hard. Um, and we need uh, what's his name? Where is he? Uh, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? The uh, Crow. I don't know why I can't find him. There he is. Uh, Crow. Down here, I'm gonna go with this. Uh, let's go with uh, this. I don't actually know what I'm doing down here. I'm kind of still pissed off about what just happened um, I guess I could go this but this seems like not a good idea so probably not Maybe I just like, no, I don't think that's going to work. I think I'm just going to go with this down here. See, uh, see how this works out. Hopefully my healing can keep up with them. But the problem is like he's 223, which is fine. And she's like 190. Uh, if this Arbiter here is like faster than 200 speed, he could just lap us. And if he's fast, she's probably going to be fast. And we already know he's like wants to be fast. Um, so up here, I need another unit. Uh, ideally, I kind of want a healer. Well, actually, you know, yeah, let's uh, let's just go triple water, just because it's funny. Uh, let's go with DN here. I'm actually, right now I have DN on the um, Celestine, or no, what is it, whatever. Uh, let's go back to, let's go find DN over here. She's on, uh, no, it's Rod of Amaryllis, there we go. So she heals every time she does a whatever. But I think, I kind of want to test her out on um, Touch of Rekos. Because she can uh, turn cycle so fast, I think Touch of Rekos might be pretty good on her. Let's change this. And this way she's like, always able to do something, right? Because she only does something for the first two turns with Rod Amaryllis and then nothing for the next two turns. Uh, but the fact that she has her S1 and cycles her turn so fast means that uh, you get those heals up pretty often. Uh, so regardless whether you're running Celestine or Rod of Amaryllis, she's going to be doing pretty well. Uh, but I, I, I want to try her out on uh on touch of Rekos, but uh, probably not now though i might i might have to think about it another time um if anyone touch of Rekos is gonna might be pretty good on is um montmorency here because of that same reason she turn cycles really fast so like hitting and then she's often uh, attack priority so hitting her will heal everybody um but if i do need single target here in healing she has that s2 where the problem with um dn is like she doesn't have any healing whatsoever, so you're either getting that target healing from the Rod of Amaryllis or the AoE healing from, or, or the Celestine, if you're running that, or the AoE healing. The AoE healing is kind of low, um, but you get kind of, you get more out of it. So if you get such a wreck at 8%, that's 8, 8, and 8. That's 24% healing when she when the, the wreck hits. When you activate the uh, Rod of Amaryllis, it's uh, like 16%, right? Um, so it, it's something to consider. Uh, but yeah, so I think I'm gonna run her with this just because we've only got two units here, two other units here. Um, I think at the lower, let's come on, let's see if, uh, okay. Yeah, I think at like the lower, uh, the, the less units there are in play, the better. Okay. 
Uh, they don't have any. Uh, any debuff, uh, cleansing, or whatever. Um, buff stripping, except for Charles, but you know, we all know what Charles. Let's do this. Uh, I'm only doing this for the damage, right? Because it doesn't really matter. Uh, he got the uh, Elbrus. Okay. It's fine. Uh, I didn't get the strip I resisted, which is pretty cool. Okay, so... Here comes this. He didn't do very much damage, but that's because... Uh, and he crit through... The uh, crit chance debuff, which is fine. Let's see if he crits through this. I want to see this. People have been complaining about this guy all day. Okay, so he missed. So I got lucky. But yeah, he's been hitting uh, waters left and right. Um, I am going to hit this. If she if he gets if she gets hit by uh, Charles, it's fine. Hopefully, she just doesn't die. Okay. And of course, he crit. And he's gonna crit again. Double crit. And I resisted, so that's cool. I got lucky there, but uh, nowhere else, unfortunately. Uh, let us just cleanse this. Who's she gonna heal? I think she's just gonna heal Crow. Yeah. This is this is the other problem. Is like it's hard to run her with this team because like she tends to heal Crow like an idiot. Um, let's just hit you. I don't know if he's on counter. I don't even know if this is this uh, K-Ron. There might have been a different K-Ron. Okay, only 7k. That's to be expected. Yeah, so that was like entirely because of the uh, interaction with uh, Rod of Amaryllis because it healed him, which put him over her, so now she's the target, not him, which, you know, that kind of sucks, but whatever. Hopefully he's not on counter because I'm just hitting him. Oh, here, here this goes. Uh, so I think this is basically over because SSB. Ooh, I can't believe I got that clutch. Okay, so now I need to figure out what to do here. Uh, she's giving him the barrier, which is getting on my nerves, and she's dead. I think, yeah, she died. So that kind of sucks. I think we still got this though. Ugh, I think I'm just gonna have to take off. Uh, the rod on her that's that's like that's irritating on a level that I can't even <laughs> like express properly Ugh. it's kind of it, it it happens a lot too with um what's his name what's that guy uh, you know his name um he's the uh DJ Basar uh the Celestine always heals Krow cause I don't know just that's what happens. Uh, he takes since he has the uh, Aureus, he's gonna take all the damage. Um, so that kind of sucks, but you know it is what it is. At this point, I just need to wait to get the uh, next uh, S. Oh, well, just need to wait to get another uh, S three off and then kill. Uh, and of course, he crit and he's gonna crit again. Oh, he didn't crit. Very nice. Uh, I think he's just gonna die here now. Yeah, he just died. Uh, so, got kind of RNG'd there, also kind of just like the asinine mechanics that is, uh, wait, how do you surrender? Do you, you just, ah, fuck, I, for, I forgot already. I think you just yield, right? Yeah, you just lose the round. Um, yeah, so, kind of rng kind of the stupid, uh, interaction between, uh, Rod of Amaryllis. Uh, yeah, I really don't like the fact that you can't choose that heal. Okay, so we're gonna see this. It's not gonna do a whole lot of damage, I don't think. Okay. She actually uh, landed down on, on... Not only did she land that on water, I think. No, I don't think so. Maybe not. I don't know. To me, it looked like she landed out on water. Um... But also, she's like 160 effect resistance, so that'd be pretty crazy if she did. Uh, but I'd rather not say, because I have no idea what happened there. I wasn't paying enough attention to uh, her. It looked like she went, but yeah. So let's uh, let's just hit this off. So this should give us some more survivability. I think I'm just going to have to kill the... Um, 
course, I don't get the uh, the whatever proc there. Let's all just. I'm just gonna get rid of this um, this guy here because he's gonna be the most irritating thing on the team. Finally, get the um, Alencia proc there. Let's heal you. Let's do hit you with this. Okay, come on, come on. Oh, she didn't crit the second time. Uh, she's missing a. Uh, I want to put her on the um, the abyss sword. Of course, I don't have another one, so gotta make do for now. So we're getting close to killing this guy. Hopefully, we can kill him now before he laps us. Okay. Okay. Cool. So let's just hit him. So he's dead. Uh, Alencia is pretty good for just kind of like laming things. As long as you bring enough like survivability, um, like she won't die and she does a decent amount of damage. Uh, but she's just insanely lame. And I didn't get the cooldown reduction, which is kind of irritating now. Who defense broke me? Was it the? I have no idea. I think it was the Bazaar. Might have a. Uh... Can you get? Uh, I'm, I'm confused. I have no idea what the fuck just happened. And I'm gonna die. Yeah. So we didn't have enough to deal with uh, the Lilius AoE attacks there. Um, we're probably just gonna die. If we're for this Lilius, I think we'd have a decent chance. Um, oh, and here comes the S3 again. I, I should have just killed him, to be honest, if he was going to S3 anyway. I, I wasn't sure how uh, his cooldowns were. Uh, let us... Yeah, fuck. We're going to die no matter what, I think. Um, that's pretty irritating. I think uh, we're going to die here. Because Lilius, or... Um, yeah, Lilius is going to attack her, and he's going to dual attack and hit. Ooh, she survived. That's crazy. Let's get the defense buff up. I, I used S1 last time because I wanted to kill the... Uh, or I wanted to avoid this situation, but uh, it's going to happen regardless. This is kind of interesting. We lost... This usually, so, you know, it's always like a 50-50 whether you lose on uh, gear or just like uh, RNG, but the more you start losing on just random things like this, it's more apparent that gear uh, gets bigger. It gets a bigger uh, gear gap, but I, maybe that's just me complaining. Because um, uh, that RB was hitting pretty hard, and considering most of our team couldn't handle like a lot of what's going on, Oh, we're actually, like it looks even there, but like I said, they have uh, twice the amount of tokens we have left, so them basically at half, you know, half chub, they're like destroying us. Um, which usually just comes down to like gear, because, I mean, in Guild War, when you're evenly matched team, there, there really isn't anything that like, strategic wise, is, is too hard. Um, that's why when you look at like the top 20 guilds, they usually just like full clear each other, because... Uh, it really comes down to gear, and if the gear is kind of even, then usually the attacker is always going to win because there's always a strategy to beat whatever's going on there. Um, I think I might hit this guy here. Someone else is hitting him. We'll just hit him anyway. Um, but yeah, it, it's something to keep in mind. It's let's see, let's put uh, let's put you here. That's kind of a bad idea just because uh, they got the Lilias here, but that's fine. The Lilias is probably faster than my uh, than my girl there. Let's put you there and... Um, oh, I don't know. Let's put Charles or something. I'm out of tanks. Uh, I'm going to use my other tank. My last tank uh, being CC. Where is she? Here. Use my last tank here. Um... Okay, so now I gotta figure out how to deal with all this damage uh, from Kron. Um, Maybe I should just put this up here. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do that. Uh, we'll put you here, and I need to figure out 
who else is uh, raring to go? <sighs> um, actually, yeah, let's do. That looks like that'd be interesting. Uh, let's put you here. Okay, so I'm gonna put you there. Uh, let's just do that. Um, just kind of throw the uh, the C team out there. Uh, da, da, da. Oh, this is a mistake. I just realized because she can revive and you know heal to a pretty large degree. So I think we just lost this, uh, which that kind of sucks. I wasn't paying attention for some reason. I was just kind of like, oh, I'll just throw her in there. Um, but yeah, I need more damage here. Uh, probably if I had like a water damage dealer, this would be good. But it's I don't, so that's fine. We we'll just have to go with this. Uh, she does a damage. But it's not going to be enough to out out uh, deal with everything that's coming out of this. Let's see what uh, damage we can get off of FCC here. A Twenty-six. It's not bad, I think. But uh, let's see if uh, what this does for me. She didn't even break the barrier, which is good. Uh, that was actually kind of a waste, but that's fine. Uh, this isn't going to kill basically anything here. Let's see what happens. Okay. Let's, oh, let's hit him with this. But yeah, like I said, I mean, it could be gear. Um, but it could also not be. It could just be that I'm shit. But, you know, it is what it is. Take it uh, as you will. She's already going to hit her, but I kind of just want to do damage on her. Let's just hit you, I guess. Let's trigger your, uh, your ability there. So yeah, I don't have enough effectiveness on my Dizzy to uh, do anything to this uh, Ruel here. Uh, so this is good. She's going to revive the Kron, which is fine. I'm actually doing decent damage. That Ruel is not tanky whatsoever, considering I'm, I'm hitting her with everybody. Uh, we can now hit you peacefully here. Uh, the other thing is... Uh, so when I when I mentioned Touch of Rekos on DN, it's more like... Um, it's usability in uh, RTA because uh, in in this it's like you have to bring her in as a as a as a grass bait or something like that. Uh, but most of the time she's not going to do very good against um, like tanking for grass. I mean she's all right, but uh, a lot of times she's not going to do very much. Oh, he's on counter. That's like the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. And there you go. So I was wondering that myself. I wasn't sure if uh, I wasn't sure if the um, What's it called? It's a Dust Devil proc on counters, and now we know, so... That finally did some damage. Uh, hit her. It's fine. Uh, we'll hit you. And of course, he <laughs> counter attack. Uh, let's just hit you. Uh, so she's gonna get the barrier in this case. So now, uh, I should actually be hitting, um, what's her name over there? Uh, let's... There's actually no reason to use the S3, because she has the immunity. She's going to get it again. Uh, so that shield is gone, so now I can hit her. Uh, we'll do this to get rid of, uh, just to use it up, just to have it up more often. Uh, okay. So let's get everybody the attack buff. I think this might go kind of well. Ruel doesn't have this. I don't think Ruel has enough uh, AOE heal to deal with what's going on here. Um, um, but yeah, this could go sour really quickly. Okay, so what's his name is back, which is fine. 
because uh, now, I mean, that's kind of the reason I was saving the uh, S3, because uh, what's her name over there keeps applying the um, immunity on herself, which is getting on my nerves, but, um, yeah, which is getting annoying, but, uh, actually, I think I'm just going to focus everything on her and then let uh, Dizzy's AoE probably deal with that. Um, okay, so she's healing now. Uh, this is, I guess this is fine. I'll just have to burn it. Uh, but I've been, yeah, I've been kind of hesitating using the uh, S3 because it, it's only it's not gonna for one, Ruel's gonna resist all of it, and then uh, what's her name up there is not gonna get hit by it. Who's she gonna heal? Oh, okay, that's fine. Uh, he's by far the squishiest one, so that's okay. Okay, okay, so we're doing pretty good here. Oof. Of course she keeps critting. I don't have that much crit on Dizzy. Like, she's probably got like 40-50% crit and she keeps critting the uh, Little Queen Charlotte. Which is getting on my nerves. Of course there's this again. Okay, this is why we this is why we burned it last time so I could do this again. Uh, so let's get this damage in. Uh, do I, what do I want to do here? Her heals are down. She's not gonna go. She's okay. So we're I think we're good. I think I'm just gonna heal her. Yeah, I wanted to get a little more damage in, but I think uh, it's not gonna be worth it. So let's unless well she might lap yeah she'll lap anyway so that's cool. Uh, let's get you. Come on. Oh, nice. There we go. She's gone. Of course, the uh, counter there and the uh, dust. No, not the dust devil. Uh, so basically, this is over. Um, the biggest hurdle was just getting over that uh, Ruel. Um, also, like I guess some lessons for later is I need to uh, increase. The effectiveness on my dizzy right now she's kind of like she doesn't have a lot of crit chance per se but like i kind of wanted some crit chance on her she's got like 50 but i can probably drop that down to like zero whatever the default is like drop down a whole bunch of crit chance uh i do need to give her more speed and as you can see down there more health uh, she's got like insane defense though so that's that's all right but uh yeah she just needs a lot more health so i need to drop basically every stat that is in health effectiveness and speed uh, and then like i said defense is already pretty good on on pieces i'm probably going to keep on her uh, but yeah, so basically I want to make Dizzy, if I made her the way I wanted to in this one, she was probably just going to, I'd lose. Uh, but in terms of, um, let's see what's over here. I actually don't have enough, I don't think I have enough healing to deal with what's going on here. And with what's going to go on here. Ooh, that is some serious damage there. Uh, who are you going to hit? Are you going to hit Ravi? Oh, you hit the, uh, that's fine. Uh, this is pretty good because now I get to, oh there we go, now I get to uh, hopefully hit the uh, Violet and I missed the crit on him which is amazing and he's dead, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see, so he's only going to hit her which she'll probably miss, yeah, that's fine. Uh, so let us just farm... I'm gonna hit you because you killed me last. You got me killed last time. So let's uh, do that and then do this. Okay, cool. Uh, so let's just hit these guys. Apparently, I hit. Okay, so hopefully, I can uh, hit somebody back here. Let's. Uh, the, the problem is going to happen here is, uh, uh, what's her name here is going to kill my Rabi because my Rabi doesn't have anywhere near as tanky as she is. Uh, let's just hit this. Oh, I actually hit the, what's the name? Let's see if I get the stun off. Okay. Yeah, so she's going to kill Rabi. Fine-ish. 
Uh, I'm probably gonna die though. Oh yeah, okay, it's over. Uh, so there's that. Ooh, I can't believe that. Let's see if I can stun her. Oh, she's got the Crimson Seed. Let's see what happens. I think it's like a 60% chance that she'll cleanse it. Oh, I just killed her. I can't believe that. Decently tanky Tenebria takes it. With the steel. That was retarded. Not even going to pretend I, I skilled that one. That was just dumb. Uh, but yeah, so... Uh, let's see. Yeah, uh, I mean, that's about how it goes. Uh, those forts were pretty strong. Yeah, the forts were decently strong. The stronghold was all right. Like I said, the first team was pretty good. That bottom team was kind of iffy. I need to, uh, yeah, I just need to stop. Um, I need to actually build a... Uh, See, yeah, so most of my team's losing to the second one. This guy beat both of them, and he beat the other way around. Yeah, I just need to stop being lazy and uh, go build my um, my Lilibet. And well, my Lilibets are built. I mean, the um, the Oxlots. I think Oxlots, Ruel, Lilibet might have been good here, right? Um, because if Oxlots outspeeds, which I doubt. He, I could make one fast enough because that's, I think that's a 260 Basar. I think I read somewhere on the Discord. The fastest Oxlots I can make is like 250, right? So, uh, probably won't be able to outspeed him. Then, uh, but if I could, I outspeed, take down the, uh, Vildred, not have to worry about his damage, and then just get hit by, um, the, uh, regular Basar, and then get hit by the, uh, Charles and then hopefully I can like survive after that and after that just focus on killing Charles because he's he, he this especially this one wasn't particularly tanky he was like 1200 um but yeah uh lessons for next time uh yeah so I mean that's it for today probably tomorrow I'm gonna have um summoning video for the second part of Euphine because uh, I've actually yeah, I'm going to try to pull for another one. If I get Euphine before I get the artifact, it's going to kind of suck. Because I'm just going to stop. Like, I'm not going to go further than a second Euphine. Um, what else? Yeah, that's about it. So, go over video tomorrow, today. Uh, summon tomorrow. And uh, go over video on Friday again. Um, but yeah, so that's that.